This is my uh, juvenile Brachypelma Amelia. Let's see if she wants a super worm. Don't think she really wants it. Give her another minute to decide, then I'll take it out. Well, check it out. When I went to grab it, uh, she decided she wanted it after all. <laughs> Here's the juvenile bee Bomi. Started uh, feeling around as soon as I <laughs> opened the lid. She knew it was coming. I say she, but I don't know for sure. It was sold to me as a classy, but uh, looks more like a Bomi. This is the large Brachypelma Bomi, and I think she's in pre -molt. but just in case, I'm going to give her a quick offer. Not interested. Yeah, she's not interested. It really, She looks like she's in heavy pre -molt. If you look down there at her butt, you kind of see dark underneath there. So I'm just going to give her some water and leave her alone. This is my pink zebra beauty. See if she wants to eat. I don't think she ate last time either. Oh, maybe she did want to eat. There you go. Yeah, she's definitely got it. This sweetheart here is the sexed female Brachypelma albopelosum. She ate well for me last time. Today, let's see. I think she's gonna take that. She's looking interested. There she goes. I lift up the lid a little so you can see her better. Now, is that beautiful or what? I love those curly legs or curly hairs on the legs. Okay, I'll leave her be. This beautiful lady is Brachypelma Vagans, assumed female, not sure. <laughs> very, very good eater. In fact, I'm going to offer her two. Whoops. She will most likely take that second one as well, but uh, it slid directly under her. So it may take her a moment to realize it's there. There, she she says, oh. She's going to dig in a second. She feels it under there. And she wants it. <laughs> she feels the little vibrations. That's the sound of my heater in the background, in case you're wondering what that noise is. Alright, well, she'll get it later. Well, I wonder how long I should just stay on her waiting for this. Okay, she'll get it. Rocky Palma Albo Pelosum, confirmed female. Named, uh, I forget what I named her, but yeah, very good eaters usually. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess that's that. Hiding under her substrate, that's why you're getting this odd angle, is my grandma stole a poke ground. Let's see if she wants to eat. I would say yes. Princess wants to eat today. Yeah. 
Yep, she wants it. Those big fangs. Silky black f hair. I'm gonna offer her one more. A second one. Alright, well, that guy is just way too out of control. She's not going to take a second one with him behaving that way. So, there's a top view of my lovely lady. On to the next. Another adorable, mature male. Grandma stole the rosea. Good boy. Rosie number two. Hmm. Doesn't want it for some reason. But there's a good look at her, isn't she pretty? Rosie number three. Looks like we may be on rosy fasting schedule time. Cutest male rose hair ever. Should be hungry. I'm actually going to offer him a second one. This is my Euathla species red, and she's out in her enclosure and not hiding, so I have high hopes that maybe she's hungry. I mean, I doubt it because she never eats. Never, never. I think it went down under there. Okay. Hello, sweetie. Hello, sweetie. She's so docile. She's just a sweetheart. Small uh, Brachypelma albopelosum. Yep, he wanted it. So he's a little skinny. I may offer him too. This girl's going to go nuts when I drop these in here. Watch. <laughs> she loves to eat. Here comes the other one around the side. She's going to get that one, too, when it uh, makes the mistake of coming too close. Well, she'll get it. Actually, she'll probably try to get the water bowl when I fill it 
Check this out. Yep, she's a water bowl attacker. <laughs> she thinks it's food. Check those eyes out, man. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is a girl. Really expected this girl to molt because she is about three inches or so. Um, she's so fat, so she's not getting fed because she's just her abdomen to carapace ratio is huge. And uh, just gonna give her some water and leave her be. Cyclosternum fasciatum, sex unknown. Offering big fat cricket. Yeah, I think she wanted it. I'm assuming this is a female because it makes me happy to believe that. Grandma stole a pulchra. Let's put a single cricket in. I think he's going to take it. I don't know if it's really a boy, but this is not my confirmed female, so. I'd say this guy's about three and a half, maybe four inches. He likes his little McDonald's house, too. I find they make great hides and they don't cost anything. <laughs> this adorable little fellow is an Alf Napalma Moderatum. Just a little one, maybe two inches, two and a half, maybe. Got his butt up in the air right now. Uh, I think that's so cute when they do that. Anyway, he doesn't seem particularly interested in his cricket. But I'll leave it in there for him. Parafyza scrofa, Chilean copper. What? Did I really see you refuse that? Oh no, you're going to go after it. What's interesting is these guys, and I don't think it comes over the camera well, they really have this coppery sheen to them. Come on, buddy. Not sure if he wants to play with it, whack it away, or what? Okay, I'm gonna leave it in there for a little while. This little guy is about two inches, and he is as cute as he can be. Supposed to be a Red color form rosea sling. I've never seen roseas as a sling, never kept them as a sling. He's awfully, awfully cute though. Not entirely sure he's interested in this meal. No, he's not interested. I'm going to take it out. Canthoscuria brocklehursti. This might be the first superworm I've offered him, or the second. <laughs> it's just about at the limits of what he can handle. But I have full faith and confidence he's <laughs> not going to have any problem with that and it should fatten him up a bit. He molted recently. He or she. Look at those back legs. Uh, hmm. Well, I guess we'll find out later. This right here, this little beauty, is my P. Erminia. Um, looks kind of fat. I think I'm just going to put in um, a cricket, but I don't know that I'm really expecting her to eat it. Sorry for the blurry, blurry, but I'm, uh, I think I'm just going to put one in and 
see if she responds. She's got it pretty well webbed up in here. Don't you, girl? Don't you? I bet she webs this thing all up. Anyway, she's obviously not going to perform on camera today. This is my Nandu Chromatis Marilyn. She, hmm, pre-molt? She's definitely not interested in that worm. I don't think she'd be in pre-molt, although she molted on the day I brought her home. She looks really good. I'm just going to give her some water and leave her be. This is Nandu Carapinosis. I think she wanted that. I think that was a yes. Try to get a look at her while you can because she don't come out of that hide much. She likes her hide. Just one today. Finally, my Afnipelma calcodes is going to molt. See that uh, dark abdomen there? Kind of dark under the skin? She's going to molt very soon, so I'm not going to feed her. I'm not going to pick her up and mess with her. She's very gentle, but I'm just going to leave her alone until she molts. Just give her some more water and be done with it. This is my uh, Brachypelma smithy, Emma. Just going to offer her one cricket. A cricket which she doesn't appear to be particularly interested in. Except that I spoke too soon. <laughs> Just one, because I'm a little low on food and uh, my girls are all very well fed. This is my Grandma Stola. Pole Cribes leg. She was my first tarantula and she is potentially gravid. Otherwise, if she wasn't potentially gravid, with an abdomen like that, I wouldn't attempt to feed her. However, if she is gravid, she may really want that superworm because I've known her to fast for long periods of time. Well, she wanted it. Now, my question is kind of getting excited because I think she might really be gravid. I know the owner of the daddy um, who has since passed on I believe. Would be happy to have an egg sack of these as well. You want another one, girl? See, she doesn't normally... I've seen her go on long, long fasts, like seven, eight months, so... I'm really suspecting she's gravid. I think I'm going to leave that super worm in. Oh, she may grab it. I send some pictures of her off to Lance and uh, see what he thinks. But um, she was bred last year. And her abdomen definitely looks different. Almost like a Hershey's Kiss sort of design so anyway she'll dig that up later if she wants it or it can just pupate in there it's not going to hurt her Lassiodora Parahibana see if I can make her turn around and grab that yep I thought she would and that's all she needs I give her a little more because she's a bird eater and I'm thinking she's seven or eight inches by now. She's really big. I've got her on the largest size critter keeper they make. 
with the shoebox height. She gets money any bigger than this. <laughs> this. I don't know what I'm gonna put her in, but uh, she's she likes her home. Looks like she got that one. Maria Erdkins. <laughs> That's a super worm she's got. Oh my goodness! Look at that. A perfect, perfect view of her. She's got to be a minimum of six inches. I mean, this girl is huge. <clears throat> yeah, she's beautiful. And see, she's <laughs> built her tunnel right up to the top, so uh, it's easy for me to just open it up and drop food down. This is Pocletheria striata. And that's Pocletheria striata with two crickets. Okay, so this is the Dapagenius uh, Bios Lettuce. Oh, she's still got her. I don't think you can see it under her, but I was trying to. T there it is. See there? She's still got that egg sac. Whether it's viable or not, I have no idea, but she's not going to take food with it. So I'm going to leave her alone now before she decides to come pay me a visit. <laughs> 